You're listening to Kizuki, the podcast. I'm Mei Yoshikawa, and I define the Japanese concept of Kizuki as the following Kizuki. One, a moment of epiphany, an aha of realization or insight which opens the knower to a new dimension of truth that was formerly unknown. Two, steps in an incremental growth of awareness. Resulting in a movement from ignorance to greater awareness of the bigger picture. A kind of knowing that cannot be undone, that cannot be unrealized. As a long time yoga and meditation practitioner, a world traveler, and curious self explorer, I'm obsessed with Kizukis. Listen on each week for inspiring and enlightening stories that may just tip you over for your next aha. On this week's episode, Imbued with Meaning. When's the last time something or someone sparked so much joy for you, you just had to get up off your seat and do something about it? I had something like that happen to me just last month, actually. As I sat down for lunch with my beautiful friend, we were like, wait a minute, it might be the first time we get to have lunch alone, minus all the kids. And it was just such a beautiful opportunity for us to really get to sit down and chill and appreciate each other's presence and friendship. At some point during our lunch, She leaned over, stretched her arm across the wooden table, and handed me a little square paper bag. She said, I felt inspired to get this for you. And she handed me this velvety gray bag with silver writing on it. And it was from a jewelry store. It was so elegant, and my heart skipped a beat. Like, what? For me? Happy birthday, May, she said. And so, delightfully like a child on Christmas morning, I unraveled the bag and the small gray box inside it to reveal a delicate and graceful golden necklace with a diamond charm in the center. It shone like the sun. It absolutely took my breath away. My friend said to me, I wanted you to know what a special friend you are to me. You're like sunshine to me. And I just couldn't hold back the giant tears that were rolling from my cheeks. It just felt so special. There was so much meaning behind it. In a flash, I imagined her at the jewelry store selecting the piece for me, connecting with the intended meaning that this shiny charm represented to her. And now, to me. My heart burst wide open. I was in wonder. I felt the connection. A sisterhood. A deep soul connection. And this was not only because of this gift that she had just given me, but also because I had noticed during our lunch that she was wearing a similar piece around her neck. And I said, It's just like yours. I was just admiring how lovely your necklace looks on you. And I needed to get my butt from the table to embrace her. I was just in overflow. I felt warm inside. With love. With connectivity. With thoughtfulness and appreciation. Gosh just reflecting on what a wonder it is that we found each other in this life. Souls like family. There was something else, though, and it wasn't until later that evening that I could finally wrap my head around how much this gift meant to me. I was reflecting about it and thinking to myself, this is the first time since my husband died that anyone has gifted me a piece of jewelry. And then I remembered all the many times I thought of buying myself something. 
you know, something little to add a little sparkle to my otherwise minimalistic and simple closet. I checked out websites and bookmarked them. I looked at stores and I even tried a few necklaces on, but nothing felt right. I even wondered to myself, am I having like self-worth issues? Do I not feel deserving enough to buy myself jewelry or something? And I just couldn't put my finger on it, but I knew that something didn't feel right and I never got myself anything. And then receiving this gift made me realize that what I really wanted was the meaning imbued in the gift, that the object would just be a, of service, something like a symbol to remind me of the meaning. Then, for the first time, I realized something about myself. It was my moment of kizuki. As much as I love and appreciate beautiful pieces of elegance, even more so than that, I am someone who values the meaning imbued in it. So, dear sister, your inspiration was so spot on. You not only gave me something very, very special, you helped me to realize something about myself. And I know that we share that meaning. And then I remembered these wise words spoken by Ms. Maya Angelou. People will never forget how you make them feel. Thank you for listening. Learn more about me in my upcoming book, Kizuki, Realizations Beyond Time and Death, at my website, m-a-e-y dot l-i-v-e. Or find me on Instagram at M-A-E-Y-O-S-H-I-K-A-W-A. -E